Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to Donut Operator, a cop gets shot in the chest but stays in the fight. So Donut Operator has been recommended to me a few times. I believe he's an ex-police officer himself and he breaks down like, um, like body cam footage. Now this one here, I mean imagine getting shot in the chest completely. Like if, you, if you've not got body armor on, that's it. It's, it's over for you most likely. But even if you do, it's still going to be extremely painful, extremely. So to stay like in the fight, trying to take the criminal down, hats off to that officer. This video, I'm sure, is going to be a real eye opener for me. So let's do it. Hi, everyone. Donut here. We haven't seen a shooting breakdown this intense in quite a while. Intense. Why, yes, I'm going to keep using that joke and you cannot stop me from doing it. <laughs> guys, guys, Daytona, Florida. It would be a Florida man in one of the most intense shooting breakdowns I've ever seen. Daytona Beach Police Department officers and Holly Hill Police Department officers responded to a tip that there was an attempted murder suspect hiding inside some apartments. We're only going to be looking at this body camera footage through one angle because that's all you need to see. This freaking stud. Officers arrive, they start talking with a man who says, yeah, Mikey Mike Harris is inside, which matches the name of the person who they're looking for for attempted murder. And officers say, hey, man, mm. you want to open this door for us? Can you open this door for me, please? His name is Micah Harris. They call him Michael Mike. And opens the door he does. As soon as Officer Stud here enters the department, you see the suspect run to a bedroom and close the door. This officer does not hesitate. He goes immediately for the door and kicks it open. But unfortunately, he gets shot in the chest and goes down to the right inside the little kitchen area. Oh my god. Damn. I just realized that we Ugh. haven't been using my high-tech, super secret, super amazing, super expensive crime scene recreation software. Why have I been keeping that from you fine people? Apartment. Door. Hallway. <sighs> oh, this sucks. Hold on bedroom hallway kitchen officer stud comes in right here through the door gets to about right here suspect starts shooting at him from right here officer stud falls into the kitchen which is where he posts up looking towards the bedroom that the suspect is in. Oh, also there's a woman trapped in here somewhere. That's where the screaming comes from. Does this warrior lay down? and scream and call the Ambu? No, he stands back up and lays down some hate, my guys. Hats! No! Ah. Ah! I mean, d dealing with this on a daily basis, knowing that this could happen to you, my, my blood pressure, I don't know if I could handle it, man. Maybe you get used to it as a police officer, but knowing that you could get shot every single day. <sighs> <sighs> And boy, is he pissed. I mean, you, you just got shot in the chest. I'd be pretty mad about that, too. Hands up! Put your hands up! Hands up! Hands up! I'm hit! Oh my god, this is... I think that the initial burst from this officer after he got up and he was pissed after getting shot in the chest, as anyone would be, got the guy because I feel like you can hear him right here. Yeah, is that him? Yeah, the groaning. The groaning. Open the door right now! We're not gonna shoot you! Open the door! Open the door! 
Can the woman just comply, man? Oh, man. Tense situation. What a tense situation. Where is he at? Who can see him? Get out of the doorway. Where's the dude? Like, where's the guy? Hey, I'm hitting the chest. The woman finally comes out and the officer here continues to Peter Griffin a little bit. Understandably so, he got shot in the chest. He's still in the fight. And then my favorite part of this video happens. You wanna back out of here? Nah, no, I'm getting oh, this fucker. Oh, oh, my man. I had to watch that part a couple times and try to figure out what's going on. And I think, I think what happened is he picked up that bucket from the kitchen and threw it against the door to see if the guy would shoot. Yes, guy exactly, exactly. It was like a bait. He was trying to use that thing as bait, really. I didn't shoot, so he decides to breach. With his pistol, of course, because as you can see, he mag dumped the door where the guy was standing. And as I said, I think that first initial burst kind of kind of did him in. Yeah, I think the guy, I think the shooter, I think he might be dead. I think he's dead. <laughs> Show me your hands! Ooh. Damn, he is dropping some lead. Show me your hands right now! I mean, that guy. Yeah, because the cop's probably thinking if I bust in there and the guy's not dead and, he's, and, he, and he shoots me, yeah, he could die. So I can see why he's hesitant to just bust through the door. Yeah, don't go through it. Don't go through that window. Hey, I need you to stack a bomb here. I can't show too much of this part right here because there's a lot of blood, but you can see that they had to, they had to kind of push the door open forcefully because the guy collapsed in front of the door. <laughs> Yep. You already know the guy's dead when the old timer with 30 years on the job who's about to retire with the crew cut he's had since the Korean War walks up, <laughs> looks down, shakes his head, and then walks out. Oh, and by the way, he got the guy, but he's still mad. Good news though, the vest actually caught the bullet and all he was left with was a little bruising. No, I got no blue eyes on me. Fuck this guy. So that guy, the shooter, would rather die than just go to court. But I guess it was attempted murder that he was he was wanted for. Hey, okay. I'm in. I got hit in the chest. I'm good, man. Motherfucker. I'm gonna end this breakdown with probably one of the most honest and best statements of the entire video. It takes place in the last second of the video that the Daytona Beach Police Department released. Good sir, you are a bad bitch. Dude, contact me. Let me get a care package to you. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to be streaming over wow. at twitch.tv slash donut operators. Intense. So intense. I've just... Wow. I mean... Yeah, like I mentioned in the video, you've got to really have nerves of steel. I guess maybe for the first few months on the job, you'll be nervous, but eventually you kind of get used to it, I guess. But yeah, like just the situations that officers have to have to go in and deal with and put themselves at risk of, it's really, really, uh, it's quite something. Like it really puts some perspective 
into the mind of me like a civilian like a, you know why some cops you know may behave in certain ways like it, it must do something to you psychologically knowing that any on any given day that could be your last day you know and the families as well of, of the cops they share in that worry that stress yeah it's really something thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one